In this video, I'll show you how to install SQL Server 2019 for Windows. Um, so just uh, on Google directly type in uh, SQL Server 2019 and then hit enter and you'll be able to see the first link um, for the download which is directly from the microsoft.com. Go ahead and click on that and here you will see four different uh, types of installation. The first one is uh, SQL Server 2019 on uh, Azure and second one is the on-premise and the third one is the developer version and the fourth one is the express uh, version. So the main difference between these uh, four are the first two are the enterprise which is license based um, software. Of course you can uh, go with the 180 days uh, uh, free trial uh, with this uh, version. Uh, for the training purpose we'll just uh, choose um, the express. So before we do that let's understand the difference between the developer version and the express. So Developer version is a full-featured uh, free edition and it's a uh, license for uh, development purposes um, but it's not uh, it should not be used for production environment so you can develop you can develop all your uh, SQL scripts and uh, database and everything uh, on your development or test servers but not uh, on production environment uh, the only uh, difference here is uh, in Express this is again a free edition from the SQL Server and it is ideal for uh, development and also production for desktop. So here we'll not be using it as um, servers uh, wherein you have a lot of uh, clients connecting to it um, and making use of the database server. So this is, is only for a small server applications or just for the desktop and web. So for now, uh, let's go ahead and click on uh, the Express. All right, uh, the installation uh, file is already downloaded. I'll just click on it and click yes. And you will see a, a installation wizard coming up shortly. And here uh, you'll be able to choose all the applications that you uh, really need and then uh, go ahead with the installation. So the first step uh, is to choose the installation type. Here is the basic step. Uh, this will uh, install the SQL Server database engine uh, with all the default configurations and the second one is a custom wherein you will uh, have an access to choose uh, some of the uh, custom um, you know components uh, uh, for uh, your installation so now i'll just go ahead with uh, the basic installation here and click on accept and it'll take the installation uh, default directory as program files and microsoft sql server and this takes about uh, 6 uh, GB space and the download size is about 266. Go ahead and click uh, install. Now uh, it's installing all the, um, downloading the install packages uh, directly from web. And once this is done, uh, you will have access to um, the installation wizard. And here you can see uh, it is trying to source like 255 Mbps um, MB of uh, installation files and now it is done now the installation step is in progress all right now extracting setup files Interesting things to note is uh, even SQL Server is also available for Linux. Just a few more seconds here. Alright, so that step is now complete. The installation has completed successfully and here is the uh, instance name and uh, the connection string. And this is the administrator and here is the installation media folder and this is the version and this is where uh, the resources are located so all right let's go ahead and uh, connect now
All right, so if you see here, uh, so it uses the SQL CMD. Uh, it's a command line mode. Uh, here we can uh, list down all the, um, you know, uh, SQL. We can literally execute any SQL commands over here. So for now, uh, what we'll do, this is just boring. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize it. Uh, I'm going to install the install SSMS. SSMS is basically a SQL Server Management Studio. This is a client tool. Instead of working on um, uh, the command line, uh, we can uh, directly download the SQL Server Management Studio and we can um, work on a GUI based uh, tool which will be very user friendly and uh, it, it, it uses a lot of uh, uh, options to um, uh, writing a SQL, you can view the uh, underlying DML, DDLs, uh, you can execute, you can schedule, you can um, format the code and you can do a whole lot of things. Alright, the download is now complete. Let's launch uh, this SMS. Alright, so here is the um, installation wizard for the SQL Server Management Studio. Just go ahead. Um, I'll just leave the um, installation path as is. Uh, let it take the standard one and click on install. It's now loading all the packages. It is required for uh, SSMS. Just few more seconds, it will be done and we can uh, uh, directly connect to our instance and quickly query uh, the database and try to create uh, just some demo table uh, just for the demo purpose. I'm going to pause this video for a second. Let's see. All right, now the setup is now complete. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, click on close. All right, now the installation is complete. Let's see uh, if it is installed. Just type in SSMS. Uh, you'll be able to see the application here, SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, let's go ahead and launch it. All right, now the SSMS is launched. And as you can see, uh, the server name, the instant name is uh, my computer name. And then there's a SQL uh, Express. And by default, uh, it takes the Windows authentication. And you can see uh, there's a user uh, already, uh, which is my Windows account. So let's go ahead and you know, click on connect. All right, our service is running. Let's, um, so there are no databases, the user databases. Let's go ahead and open a new query window. And you can see, um, I'll show you some of the uh, system databases like master, msdb, and tempdb. These are uh, some of the uh, metadata um, databases for SQL Server. And security is where you're on your uh, user account and roles and everything is defined and uh, you'll also get access to server objects replication and management and some x event profiler so for now uh, let's go ahead and uh, quickly create one database uh, table and see how it works let's go ahead and create one uh, database create database Right, our database is created. Let's use this database. You can either choose uh, this uh, button here or else just press FI. Uh, the SQL uh, statement will be executed. So now I'm under um, this database. Let me go ahead and create one table here. Create table. And you will have to give um, the column name, column one, you can say int, and that's it. Now a table is created. Let's see if we have uh, those 
there are any records in this table all right there's nothing so let's quickly insert one record here insert into One record is inserted. All right, so this is how uh, you create your database, uh, create a table inside it, and then you can query the table, uh, and you can do a lot of DML operations such as insert, update, and things like that. I'll quickly show you how to uh, see this. Uh, I'll just go ahead and refresh it. So now you can see this talent uh, demo. You can expand here, and you will be able to see the tables. And uh, here's the table name, and here are the column names. Alright, I hope you liked it video. Um, this is all about uh, installing uh, the SQL Server, uh, installing your uh, SQL Server Management Studio, connecting to it and creating some sample tables. I hope you like it. Uh, please um, like and share and subscribe to my channel for more um, you know, videos. Thank you.